Hi, in this video, 2007 with one example. Pivot table is a very powerful tool in Microsoft Excel to analyze and summarize data in different ways. You can prepare reports using pivot table option in MS Excel. I have some data here. You can see employee name, location, designation, and monthly salary. I will explain pivot table by performing certain activities which are listed here like analyzing how many employees are at each location and designation wise total employee at each location designation wise total salary at each location and location wise total monthly salary of each designation addition or deletion of data in existing pivot table then adding calculated field in pivot table let me tell you this is very advanced uh, feature of pivot table that we can add calculated field once pivot table is prepared not adding the field in the data last is making pivot chart and before proceeding to prepare pivot table let me tell you a uh, few things there should not be any blank column in our data and there should not be any blank row in our data. Our data should be consistent. So let's do the first activity. How many employees are at each location? For that, what we can do is we can select any cell in our data and go to insert option, then click pivot table. This will select all the data as data is already consistent. Here in this window, what we can see is we can select new worksheet or existing worksheet. So it depends on our choice. We want to make our pivot table on new sheet or within the same sheet. I am selecting the first option, new worksheet and hit OK. So at this stage, MS Excel gives us a placeholder box which is here and list of fields which are available in our data like one two three four and five we have five fields in our data so at this stage if we close this window so how we can get this window again by just right clicking at placeholder anywhere selecting the show field list and it comes again so our first task was to check how many employees are at each location for this what we will do going to the place folder and right click Sorry, right click on the placeholder, show the field list. So in this box, we can see all the fields are given at upper part and there are four different part at bottom like report filter, column levels, row levels and value. To complete our first task, uh, first, let me uh, drag the fields as per our requirement for that. Let me check our task again. How many employees are at each location? So what I will do. I will drag the location field in row level and employee name in value field here we can see that by default excel has treated count on employee name why because we cannot calculate employee names we can change the field settings also from here by selecting the value field setting and like sum or count at this stage count will be sufficient for us and some will give us error because this field is not a numeric field so i'm clicking ok 
let me change it to count and close this we are ready with our first task at each location we have these many employees let me see what was our second task designation wise total uh, employees at each location to accomplish this task what i will do again i will select anywhere in data go to insert and pivot table again i will select new sheet then click on ok and for this i will drag the location field in row level and designation field below the location field and employee name again in the value so in this way we can see that at each location designation wise how many employees we have at this stage i would like to give a tip here like uh, in this tips what we can do we can select our pivot table anywhere and right click then go to pivot table option and select the display and check this classic pivot table layout if we click here then what will happen these designation will come in front of the location to give us better look let me click on ok so here it comes so we are done with the task 2 let me check what was a third task third is designation wise total salary at each location this task is quite similar to second task so i will use our old table here in this way we can learn how can we perform the changes in the existing table i will right click and show field list here now i will drag it back to our field list instead of this i will take monthly salary here and this gives us result like at each location designation wise how much we are giving salary and uh, let me see your next task which is the fourth one location wise total monthly salary for each designa designation so this we have already covered third is addition or deletion of data in existing pivot table as of now we have total 36 records in our data if i say records that means one row is as one record so if i add one new record here at the bottom serial number 37 name abc and location south designation as manager salary as 40,000 now we have one more record so our task is to add this record in our existing table so what we can do is we can select anywhere in our table pivot table then go to the option tab in this ribbon we have option tab and then we have the data segment in this data segment we can click on change source data 
here we can see that last row is coming as 37 so as we have added one record so i will change it to 38 hit ok then right click on pivot table and refresh so this is how we can add or delete any record in our data and with relevance to that we can make changes of our data source range using the option and change source data our next task is adding calculated field in pivot table for that let me show you one example in our existing pivot table show field list and remove this designation by dragging it away so we have now location and total salary now what i want is i want to calculate 10 percent of this amount using the calculated field in pivot table so how we can do that we can select anywhere in this table and then go to the option then in option we have tools in this tools segment click on the formula select the calculated field so this will give us a new window let me tell you calculation fields inserting calculation field is an advanced feature of ms excel pivot table so let me give the name of this field as new added field in the formula i will remove the existing things i will click double click on monthly salary then multiply by 10 percent and click ok so here comes the new field so this is how we can always insert any calculated new field in our pivot table as per our requirement so what is our next task next task is making pivot chart again coming to our existing pivot table let me right click anywhere then selecting the show field list removing the new added field closing this window and again selecting anywhere in pivot table then right click and here we have some options let me uh, let me do it in other way select anywhere in pivot table then go to option then in the tools segment click on the pivot chart this gives us multiple choices we can select any chart click ok so this is how we can select our pivot table and going to the option and inserting the chart so there are a lot many choices available with the chart option of pivot table so this is how 